This video is going to show you how to find the average and the integral on Logger Pro. To begin with, I've got my graph at the top. It's also going to show you how to change the axes. I've got this graph at the top. I want to do is change the axis at the bottom to measure velocity. So I can see I've got position. I've got that one scaled out and the bottom graph not so much. So what I'll do is I'll right click on the vertical axis, go to graph options. Then over here I'm going to unclick position 1, click on velocity 1, unclick position 2, go to velocity 2, then click on the done button. So now I've got my velocity. I'll click on that graph and choose scale just so I can see it a little bit better. And I can see for these two carts that are coming together, here up here's where they collide, where it changes velocity, so that's where they kind of collide. And down here at the bottom you can see where the velocity crosses zero, where they switch velocities. So to find the average velocity, I can stripe a region here. So I'll use the graph and drag the mouse across there. And then I'll go to the stat button at the top of the screen. And I'll, it'll, because there are two graphs, it's going to ask which graph I want to look at. So I'll look at latest velocity 1 and click on OK. And it gives me the stats for that. So it tells me the average velocity that I highlighted was 0.4214. So that's the average meters per second, because that's what my axis is. Then I'll close this window and do the next function. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the impulse for this lab. So I've got to integrate it and find the area between the curve and the axis. So I'll change this to an acceleration graph. I'll go to graph options then unclick velocity and click on acceleration, unclick velocity 2, click on acceleration 2, and go down to the done button. So now I want to hi highlight where they collide. So if I look at the top graph, I can see where it changes velocity. That's where it collides. And I want to find that area. And I can see down here below all this exchange of momentum happened a little bit earlier than I thought it did. So I'll highlight that section. And now I'll find the area between the curve and the axis. I'll go at the top of the screen, a blue line with a little white space underneath it and it lights up as integral. So I'll click on that and I'll choose which graph I want to look at. I'll look at latest acceleration number one and click on the OK button. And it shades in the area for me and it tells me the integral, which is the area between the curve and the axis. So it tells me the area is negative 0.7943 meters per second squared times seconds. That's great, but it's not impulse. Impulse is force times time, not acceleration times time. Fortunately, Newton's second law says F equals MA, so if I take my acceleration and just multiply it by my value for mass, that'll give me the force. So to turn this into an impulse, this number of point, negative 0 0.7943, I just multiply it by the mass of the cart, and that'll give me an impulse. 